societies from multidisciplinary background related to strategic and global studies and sustainable development approach to share the research finding experiences in strategizing and adaptation dynamic. The University of Indonesia is pleased to work with ASEAN University Alliance to host its yearly academic conference to welcome more significant collaboration with ASEAN leading university. Moreover, this event also welcomes academic and research sharing from academia, government, and industry world prize based the academic crisis. National development and global crisis, the country priority. Now, without further ado, we would like to invite our honorable keynote speaker, Bapak Suharso Mono Arfa, to deliver for his keynote speech. Please welcome. McKenzie predicts a quarter of business trips could disappear forever as meeting move online. The Asian and mass event like festivals and concert all of the trend among consumers to favor experience over goods have been disrupted. Meanwhile, in terms of receiving growth, health workers and public officers have exceeded the target receiving spotless. Performing well uh, to be champion in the society uh, which in which we should uh, have a great impact uh, in order to ensure that uh, the concept of sustainable campus uh, as a small, uh, small city will be able to be uh, adjusted and into larger scale and even uh, beyond planetary boundary. As you can say that during this, uh, as you can see that during this pandemic situation, we have uh, invited many university leaders. And I noticed actually that uh, last week, the new prime minister of uh, Japan, uh, Prime Minister Kishida, I think that's how it's pronounced, uh, created the first Minister for Economic Security in the world, uh, which is interesting. And in doing so... Okay, the world which became a global privilege two days from mentality of technology was in the flux during and after the COVID-19 crisis. The advent of the pandemic has crippled the world like never before in all its ramification of human endeavor, causing some permanent changes in all facets of life, such as economic, political, religious, making mankind, teaching mankind that important lesson of life, we are affirming that all men are equal. Although the number of COVID cases and fatalities might appear comparatively low in Africa than other regions, the looming health shock for COVID-19 could have disastrous effect on the continent's already strained health system and could quickly turn into a social and economic emergency. So if, if we listen to the speakers before uh, who spoke earlier, Climate change will be another disruptive force. And we see climate change, we cannot fight climate change alone. There has to be a collective force. But we see that we are not getting there yet. And this is why I like to go to the comments by Professor Neil on the, this question of trust. Trust in science, trust in government, trust in authority, trust in people. This is something, this is the energy that we need to build so that we can be resilient. So if we have that capacity, go to the basic again, has no harm actually. Rather than, okay, now the COVID is in decline, then we can do business as usual. Think of the capitalist way again. It will not. We will not have a bright future. Still going into the dark. Yeah, I, I have a question from Gunawan. Mm -hmm. If we do not change, I mean, people are talking about change, behavioral change, all this. Do you think we can deliver the SDGs? Thank you very much, Professor Riri for really making your time to uh, uh, deliver the speech today. Uh, we know that your schedule was very, very tight and, and you really make it for today. Thank you very much, uh, Prof. Viri, for uh, sharing your, yeah, so your, nice. yeah. Thank you very much, Prof. And uh, next one, we have uh, our plenary speaker, Professor Neil Collins from Nazarbayev University. Thank you very much, Prof. Professor Neil. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, remarkable speech today and uh, also the discussions. 
next one we have um, our plenary speaker Dr. Gwimi Sebastian Peters uh, from Nigeria, Africa. Thank you very much, sir. And we also honored our discussions. The first one we have Professor Dato Dr. Ahmad bin Ibrahim. Thank you very much, Professor Dato Ahmad, uh, for again uh, joining our uh, event and uh, sharing your uh, fruitful talks today uh, from UCSI University. Thank you very much, uh, Dato. And the next one, we have uh, Bapak John Ganda. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Bapak John Ganda, for sharing uh, what uh, you have done in uh, North Minahasa. And of course, our honor go to our uh, professor, I.R. Gunawan Cahyono. Thank you very much, Professor Gunawan. Uh, you are really leading the discussions and the uh, plenary forum today with a very fruitful and interactive discussions. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Gunawan. It's really our honor. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, uh, thank you to all of the speakers, discussions, and moderators. And yeah, back to you, Dr. Jeff. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Lin Yola. To complete up for our today's program, we invite all speakers, moderators, and discussants, as well as Dr. Lin Yola, to turn on the camera as we are about to take virtual photos. UI technical team, please get ready for the awesome virtual photo captures. So, are we ready, guys? Yes. All yes, right. we're ready, Dr. Jeff. Okay, so in the count of three, Give us the very perfect smile. One, two, and three. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, all of the speakers. Thank you, Dr. Jeff. Thank you, all of the participants. Thank you, everyone. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. If you uh, need any help, the committee will assist you in each of the breakout rooms uh, or in the lobby. So. Uh, that's it. Uh, see you in the breakout room and enjoy the conference. Bye-bye.